Gotcha, fuckers. You were expecting Fortnite's Trash Part 7, but instead you got... Well, Fortnite is Trash Part 7. So, as some of you may know, recently Fortnite was taken off the App Store and Google Play Store due to violations of terms and services. Now, this information alone makes me the happiest I've ever been in my entire life, but trust me, it gets so much better than that. Now, I mentioned a second ago that Fortnite violated the App Store's terms of services. Now, how and why would Fortnite, one of the most obnoxiously popular games of all time, much to my chagrin, violate and break the rules of Apple and Google's online mobile services? Well, here's the reason. They released some V-Buck packs or whatever, and all the profit shares were going entirely to Epic, despite the fact that the rules of the App Store, and I assume the Google Play Store by extension, which clearly state to the devel any developers that a tiny cut of the profit must go to Apple or Google. Now, that rule seems pretty fair to me. They do uphold the service and make the devices, after all. It'd be pretty shady to mooch profit off of the service without paying them back or at least letting them profit in the first place. Kind of like how when you sell something on the Steam market, a tiny cut of the transaction goes to Valve while you get the rest of the profit. So Epic, being the mature and responsible devs that they are, decided to be fair and reasonable and fix their mistakes. <laughs> nah, they threw a tantrum and started acting bratty and entitled. Kind of ironic if you ask me. The fact that their entire game was wiped from the service from this one incident also tells me that when they were confronted by store managers over the problem, they must have responded with hostility and the managers must have responded with fine, fuck you, be a little bitch, we won't host your product anymore if you won't follow a simple fucking rule. So the devs, having now lost potentially from one quarter to one third of their player base from the takedown, gotta respond to this problem somehow, right? And guess how they responded? by being complete brats and playing the victim again, obviously. They uploaded a, vid a video to their official Instagram and presumably their official YouTube channel as well, which not only mocked Apple and mimicked one of their old commercials, but also had this text at the end of the video. And I quote, Epic Games has defied the App Store monopoly. In retaliation, Apple is blocking Fortnite from a billion devices. Join the fight to stop 2020 from becoming 1984. These three sentences bring so much to unpack with them, and I can't help but cackle like a hyena at them every time I read them. First of all, they call the App Store a monopoly. They're addressing the service like it's a money-hungry bunch of assholes, despite the fact that Fortnite's devs are technically the bad guys here. They broke the rules and failed to comply and be fucking reasonable over a tiny profit share. They got, the, they got what they deserved. Secondly, the join the fight part makes no goddamn sense, and I kind of love it for that. Join what fight? What are these dumb fuck five-year-olds gonna do? Gonna cry? Gonna piss their pants? Furthermore, they're insulting Apple for removing their game from their service. And so they're insulting and mocking Apple's services to get their game back on Apple's service. What the fuck? It makes, it makes no goddamn sense. You ever hear the old saying, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar? Well, clearly Epic hasn't. Fucking Zoomers. Also, just to add, I love how Epic are basically throwing a tantrum over this. They're acting exactly like their player base, an embodiment of toxic, bloated, egotistical hubris. They've come full circle and have now become their own fucking player base. What's next? Are they gonna steal mommy's credit card just to sue Apple with it? It's hilarious. And thirdly, and I quote, join the fight to stop 2020 from becoming 1984. First of all, I love how they improperly place the period outside of the quotation marks. They're so mad they forgot how to use proper punctuation. This is shit I learned in kindergarten for fuck's sake. Okay, all joking aside, this sentence alone says a million things and it completely fucking baffles me. I suppose I should get the 1984 part out of the way first. According to Wikipedia, 1984 is a dystopian novel by George Orwell, published in 1949 as something of a fear-based thriller kind of book. It shows fear in a future world controlled by a total totalitarianist government where free will and free speech is barely even a distant memory. Actually, no, it isn't even a memory, because if you dare remember those concepts, the cops will bust down your door and fucking bludgeon it out of your head. That's the kind of book 1984 is. Now, consider the fact that Fortnite is a kid's game. It has no mature subject matter, no blood and gore, no nudity or profanity, all that jazz. It's basically a shell casing away from being a Nintendo game. Hell, I don't even think they addressed the pandemic in any way like most other games did. 
the fact that they reference this book, you know, the book that reference that coined the whole 2 plus 2 equals 5 brainwashing thing is pretty fucking jarring to me. The numbers, Mason. 1984 is not a book you'd want your impressionable innocent kids reading at such a young age. It's like teaching them about that day in Tiananmen Square where nothing happened, apparently. While they're crying to you about having nightmares on the boogeyman out of their bed. When they inquire about what 1984 is, they're gonna look it up and they're gonna be mortified. Probably too mortified to even care about Fortnite anymore. Actually, that sounds like a step in the right direction for humanity's current and future generations. Good play, Epic. Now, even pushing that aside, there's still so much to unpack. Why is Epic comparing a world without Fortnite on mobile devices to a dystopian totalitarian future full of death, scorn, and fear? Are they so full of themselves that they legitimately think that Fortnite is a necessity in people's lives? How conceited can you get? Did they see themselves as some saving grace to humanity? Fucking hell, the list goes on. Furthermore, the cherry on top is the way that this was all worded and the way the trailer plays out. They're treating it like they're being defiant and trying to fight against the monopolistic machine. Like they planned everything and they're trying to send a message. First of all, no they fucking aren't. They're crazy dumb fucks who can't stand to share a minuscule amount of their profit to the people who are hosting their fucking game on their service to begin with. Don't you think that trying to keep 100% of the profit inherently makes the devs greedy to begin with? Like, it's complete hypocrisy and trying to regain their foothold on the services that they were booted from by treating those services like they're being run by Hitler, Mussolini, and Stalin all in one isn't gonna help. Plus, let's assume they did plan this all along. That they wanted to wear a, a raise awareness towards monopolistic gain. Okay. Then what? What's the point? What's the goal? What are you trying to accomplish? It's painfully clear that you're making shit up and trying to generate a bias against Apple, a company that has far more financial and employee muscle than Epic, who threw away any and all endeavors they were already working on just for Fortnite. <coughs> Unreal Tournament! <coughs> Now, it's clear I'm siding with Apple on this argument, but only because the other option is a pedophilic Satan incarnate. Fortnite, in my opinion, is a highly predatory and deceptive money-making product. How much money in a year do you think is given to Epic for V-Bucks as a result of children stealing their parents' credit cards and just buying everything they'd ever want in the game? Their marketing is obnoxious, their stores are predatory, and their overall fandom, which they constantly cater to, is overbearing and toxic. The game is a fucking cancer. And no amount of Fortnite is trash videos that I make can possibly counteract it. Speaking of which, I highly doubt I'll ever play Fortnite ever again. I have no desire to play the game whatsoever. This tantrum honestly just adds more concrete reason to never even look at the fucking rancid shit smear of a game ever again. But also, I think it's lost any and all sense of charm or appeal it might have had to begin with. Now, I personally think that this game peaked in Season 9 and had some okay stuff in 10, but to be honest, I think this shit's gone on long enough. This is just depressing and exhausting. But hey, on the plus side, I won't have to think of a pun related to Joe Jolien and add a Fortnite reference to it. 